the Miami Heat have not only done pretty good, but what haven't they done good? That's a very short list. Coming in this season, people are expecting them to be like either like a 49-33 team or barely even grazing the playoffs. Now, what the Miami Heat have done isn't short of special. It's better than special. They brought a brand of guys that were considered nobodies, people that didn't have any talent, rookies that didn't seem like they would even pull out in the league. Yet, time after time again this season, they have proven that just because you're not noticed doesn't mean you can be good. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Why the Miami Heat are going to go all the way. To start out, what first happened is that Let's take it back to the beginning. It was the end of the 2013-14 NBA season. Many thought LeBron resigned with the Heat to try again another title or try to get to the finals, but that didn't happen. Instead, he decided to go to Cleveland. Now, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers at this point they were a lottery team. So LeBron going back, there was a lot of like, you know, criticism. People didn't really think that was a good choice. You had pretty good players for the way, but when you realize that this like, the situation that he were in, their stars were aging. Dwayne Wade was way past his prime, or he just came out of it. Bosh was dealing with health issues, so it really was smart for LeBron to leave the Miami Heat. Now, unfortunately, the next season, the 2014-50 season, did not go according to plan at all. In fact, it did. It They just imploded, only winning 37 games that season and having 45 losses. This team was a lottery team, but in the mix of that season, they managed to get Goran Dragic, and they managed to get a rising star in Hassan Whiteside, which I will get to into later. He is a really important piece in the why the Heat have had a successful rebuild. Now, when you look into it, the 15-16 season was actually one of the Heat's best seasons in their rebuild stage, actually. Winning 48 games, and only having 34 losses, and most importantly, Coming third in the conference, and they won two playoff series. No, they only won one. Yeah, they only won one playoff series. They beat the Charlotte Hornets. That was really good, but they got destroyed by the Raptors in that game seven, I think it was. So, right after that season, people thought maybe the Heat had a chance to go back. They done really. They did really good this season. No, that's not what's happened. In fact, the Heat lost Dwayne Wade after nearly 20 seasons. The Heat lost Dwayne Wade. Now, I know this in 20 seasons, but at the same time, they lost Dwayne Wade after a lot of seasons. He played with the Miami Heat from the rookie season to the Big Three era. He was gone. The Chicago Bulls. Now, the Heat had a sound white side, rising young star who they signed for a uh, absurd contract. I'll call it absurd, but it wasn't the time that people were considering, yeah, Whiteside earned it. He's amazing. But it's absurd when you realize it because he didn't really do that good in the end. So Whiteside comes, gets his money. The start of the season for the 16th, 17th season, they implode. Like, they they don't even do good. But then they come back, they rally back, and they manage to get a 41-41 record, proving that just because they're in a rebuild doesn't mean they can play good because, like, Tanking isn't the Heat's culture at all. Tanking isn't what the Miami Heat want to do. 17-18 season, no, everything goes good. Bam, starts to emerge. Not that much, though. They won 44 games and only suffered 38 losses. Pretty decent record. They lost to Philly in the first game or in the first series. Now, here's where it gets technical. 18-19 season. Last season for the Hassan Whiteside era and... Most likely, hopefully, the last season of the rebuild. Everything goes according to plan. Most importantly, the Miami Heat, they have the rebuilt. They rebuilt. And hopefully you will enjoy the next episode of this Miami Heat video. Bye, guys. Subscribe.